Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a communication link between Erwin's library and your code. I know it is recommended that you save it under C drive um, or any other drive that uh, you wish to, but some of my students have been emailing me about the, the lack of communication or the problems they're facing when they're trying to communicate, create a communication between the Irwin's library and their code. So right now I just have a sample code over here. If I run this code, it's going to give me a built error saying that um, it cannot find some of these variables and some of these uh, code because the library cannot be found. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come right over here and I will bring the library inside of this program as well. So I'm going to right click over here. Let me move this a little bit more so you can see what I see. So I will right click over here and I'm going to click on existing item. And as you can see, I don't have it under my uh, C drive, but I can look for, I'm using 32 bits. So I'm going to click on the 32 bit library right over here and I will bring it into my program. So let's go ahead and run this program with the library and that should work. And there it is. The program is working just fine. And this program is a simple program that changes the color of background and text. Um, let's make a quick little change inside of the program and see if it's going to work out. So I'm just going to change this color to red and um, let's change this one to, let's say, green. And let's run the program. And sure enough, the program is working. So if I remove this library from here, let's go ahead and remove the library. And if I run it, it's not going to run again. There we go. And this will conclude this video tutorial. I hope this helps you give you a little quick fix as to how you can create that communication link between Irvin's library and your codes.